Hello, what's up everybody? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, this is Crypto Somniac here to give you everything crypto related. So today what we're going to talk about is how to get started in the cryptoverse if you're just getting started out. Um, so let's jump right into it. For starters, here is coinmarketcap.com. This is going to be your best place to go to just track the crypto world in general. Now, there are a lot of different exchanges in which you can purchase uh, Bitcoin, Ethereum, any of these cryptocurrencies. And what this does is it's sort of the most up-to-date, in my opinion, real-time live tracker of, of the current prices. And you got a lot of information here, the market cap, um, the circulating supply, the volume. You click view all here, see a percentage change over the last uh, hour, 24 hours, seven days, etc. cetera. Um, another interesting thing on this chart is this is the total market cap of cryptocurrency in in and a total um, and as you uh, may have heard we had this huge spike in um, basically the last couple of months in May and June we got this we went from like a 30 million 27 28 million um, or billion um, dollar market cap all the way up to over a hundred um, and right now we're, we're basically right at a hundred we've had a little bit of this pullback which I think is actually healthy I think it's a good thing for the market I think um, um, we need a, a little bit of a consolidation period. Um, I think it's, it's a good thing. Um, I do think this is the very beginning. I don't, don't want to, don't let this big bubble, I think, in my opinion, I mean, don't, don't, don't just watch me and, and invest your, your, your own hard money on, on something just because I said so. Um, please inform yourself. <clears throat> I'll make a separate video of, of, of where I get my information from, a lot of different resources and how you can um, make the best decisions for, for yourself because um, at the end of the day, you really shouldn't be investing more than you can afford to lose. Um, don't invest what you can't afford to lose. Let me stress that, please. So, and anyway, I don't think this is the end. I think this is just a very, very small um, I, th I think when you when you see this in five years, I think you're going to see this mark here and, and be like, wow, that was the beginning of a huge curve up. Um, uh, so anyway, coinmarketcap.com, great place to uh, chart all your cryptocurrencies. Um, so I'm going to now show you how to go from fiat, US dollars, euros, whatever, to Bitcoin or Ethereum or Litecoin on using coinbase coinbase is one of the most popular um, online exchanges or wallets um, it is basically the paypal of cryptocurrency it works very similarly it's very smooth nice website they even have an app where you can track your portfolio um, and it it functions very very similarly now some people actually prefer to use things other than coinbase and I'll go over some of the other options later. Um, what you, what some of the benefits are, and 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 um, I'll even talk a little bit about offline wallets. Um, I guess the biggest thing to note here is I want you to think of Coinbase, Gemini, Kraken, these these big big websites where you can convert your fiat into cryptocurrency as as basically like banks that store your money for you. They actually have the key to your bank account now. If you were to get money stolen out of your bank account, your bank would probably um, insure you. They would refund your money for any money that's stolen. Um, the FDIC guarantees the money that you have. Um, but in the crypto world, we don't really have that. If money gets stolen out of your bank account or your wallet in, on crypto, in cryptocurrency, it isn't protected. You can't complain and yell at the government and tell them to put your money back because they're not going to do that. So there are what we have called offline wallets where you can store your money um, and have have the set of keys yourself you don't give the keys over to these online exchanges or wallets you have the keys um, let's not try to confuse you too much right now I think if we're only talking a couple hundred bucks or a thousand bucks it's nothing to worry about I don't think um, coinbase I think well I do think some other exchanges have some advantages over coinbase I really think coinbase I think 99.999% your money is going to be safe there. Um, however, if you're investing large, large amounts of money, I'll make a YouTube video later on what you can do to guarantee and ensure that your money is protected. 
But for right now, let's just get you started because this is how you're going to purchase your cryptocurrency initially, and then you can transfer it between other wallets, um, online or offline. So you're going to want to come up here to sign up, and I'm going to try to take you as far as I can go um, without actually linking my own personal bank account. But um, demo fake. Now I created this email a couple weeks ago just to do something. Um, it's called uh, eos.techio at gmail.com and we'll make up the password. I'm in Pennsylvania. I'm not a robot. I agree. Create an account. And it's probably going to tell me to verify my email. Yep. Save that. Come over to here. We got an email from Andy from Google. That's pretty cool. Verify the email. And now it's going to tell you to, are you an individual or a business? You're probably an individual. Um, you are, well, I'm not going to put in my phone number, but it's going to say put in your phone number. It'll probably send you a confirmation text. Um, and then you'll want to link your bank. Um, skip that. And then I don't think you're going to be able to buy and sell until you add your payment method, but you will, you'll be able to go through all this yourself. Um, now you have a couple different options here, PayPal, credit card, or your bank. I'm not going to suggest using a credit card to buy Bitcoin um, or cryptocurrency at this moment in time. I just don't think it's a good idea to put that kind of stuff on your credit card. I'm going to suggest um, you put it in your bank account. Now it may take you four to five days to get approved um, to be able to transfer funds. Um, but I think this is going to be your safest way. Or you can put in um, PayPal um, for, it looks like the sell. I'm not sure if you can buy or purchase Bitcoin with PayPal. Um, but you're going to want to link your bank account. Um, it may take a couple of days depending upon volume. But once you're all set up, um, you're going to have this dashboard here. And it's very simple. Get used to it. Learn to use it yourself. You'll have your portfolio here over... Um, the three coins that you can purchase through Coinbase, which is Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Litecoin. And you have a chart here, which is pretty simple to use. I mean, you can drag it out to a year, all, etc. And then you can buy and sell Bitcoin, send it to other people. Once you are all set up with your bank account, you'll come over here to the buy page. And once you have a payment method added, you'll click, I don't know, it'll say like, how much money do you want to transfer? A hundred bucks. And you could buy, I don't know, point oh oh two bitcoins with a hundred bucks or, or whatever it comes out to be. You can purchase any denomination of a Bitcoin, an Ether or a Litecoin. It doesn't matter. You can purchase half, a whole, two, five, point five, point oh oh five, whatever. Um, so you don't have to worry about purchasing an entire Bitcoin for $2,500. Um, so once you're all set up, you can choose to leave your money here. Um, I think it's going to be perfectly fine to leave it here. You'll be able to track your money on your phone with the Coinbase app. Um, and um, yeah, uh, it's a very convenient, easy to use tool. Now, you might be asking yourself, how do I get invested into some of the other coins that are not Bitcoin, Ethereum, or Litecoin? Because down here you have literally a list of hundreds of all the cryptocurrencies and um, big popular one that a lot of people are talking about right now is actually ant shares which is something I like um, so say you want to get invested into ant shares I'm going to walk you through one of the most popular exchanges there are several to show you how you can get invested into some of these other coins so I think the biggest one you have is Poloniex in the US it has a lot of the volume but they don't carry a lot of the coins um, they only carry 20 or 30 of the biggest ones um, and, and not necessarily even the biggest ones um, they just carry um, I, I don't know how they make their decisions to it and to what they carry but they don't have all of them the the exchange that I like the most is actually Bittrex um, however I do own uh, wallets on both both exchanges and, and use both on a daily basis but for starters, I'm going to show you Bittrex. Bittrex has the most amount of altcoins total. And I actually like its user interface better than Poloniex. Um, but I'll walk you through how to do it here. Poloniex works very similarly. It's just a different layout, a little bit of a different feel. So let's get started by signing up. Uh, 
I agree, sign up. Select like all the images with a bus. Wow. Okay. Password's not strong enough. Cool. Sign up. Probably gonna ask me to confirm. So yep. Confirm your email. And you will be good to go. So now that you have this, you will go over to wallets and you will see all the wallets and I think it lists Bitcoin here first by default. So what you want to do is you're going to want to transfer whatever um, cryptocurrency you purchased over here um, to this exchange. And you'll do that by hitting send request and you're going to want to click um, what you're going to want to do is come back to, sorry, uh, your Bittrex wallet. You have plus for uh, deposits, minus for withdrawals. So you're going to hit plus, new address, generate. It's going to generate an address for you. And what you're going to do is you're going to copy that and paste that into your Coinbase send um, field. So copy this, come back to Coinbase, copy this in. And you're going to say, I want to transfer all 100 Bitcoins I just bought and say I'm a baller with 100 bitcoins and then you're going to hit send and it's going to say great we sent all that money over here and then you're going to come back to Bittrex and it's going to say um, you're going to see it down here in the pending deposits and it might take I don't know uh, an hour to actually confirm the, confirma uh, confirm the transaction Bitcoin does take a little bit longer than some of these other coins um, and um, but eventually you, you should be able to hit refresh you'll, or refresh the screen whatever have you and you'll be able to see that it's actually coming through and that it'll tell you when it's finally um, confirmed and then once you have it in here then you can basically convert to any of these other coins that you want so one of my favorites right now is called AntShares so you'll type the name of it in AntShares and it'll come right up and then you'll click here on the symbol for it. Um, and then it'll bring up this new page with a whole lot of information on Ant Shares. It'll bring up the graph for it. You can bring it out to whenever. Um, it'll tell you the, the last bid price, of the, the lowest asking price someone's asking for it right now. So it's very similar to stock. Um, you're going to see, you know, this is basically the lowest price someone's asking. Um, to, 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 to sell their ant shares at and, and when you purchase ant shares from someone else that, that's essentially what you're doing you're purchasing ant shares from someone else just like you would in the stock exchange you're purchasing someone else's ant shares so you have what's a bid called an ask and a bid price and if you go down here you can see the books for basically this is the most that someone's willing to pay for ant shares and this is the least that someone's willing to sell their ant shares for so Here's where you buy and sell your ant shares. So say you had 100 bitcoins here, you would type in the bid price that you want to bid for Bitcoin, uh, or you want to bid um, for ant shares in terms of Bitcoin. So right now, one ant share goes for 0 0.003122 Bitcoin, which is the same number that you see down here. This is the cheapest price someone's willing to sell at. So you could essentially click that and it'll populate that field right there that's the cheapest price. Now keep in mind this fluctuates very fast so if you want to ensure that you get get in at this price you might want to add just a little bit higher and what it'll do is it'll create a buy order for you and it'll get filled as soon as someone's willing to sell at that price. Now you got a lot of volume being traded here daily in Ant Shares. Um, you shouldn't have any issue with just being able to copy and paste this but I just want you to understand that this is a very volatile and fluctuating market so you could essentially put in this price and not actually get your order fulfilled um, I hope that makes sense and what you can do here is type in how many ant shares you want you can type a thousand or you can type just hit max and it'll say you can purchase a maximum of zero ant shares because you have zero Bitcoin but if you had a hundred here it would fill this out and say you can buy like ten thousand or whatever and 31 Bitcoin, so you could probably buy like 30,000 if you had 100 Bitcoin. Um, then you hit buy ant shares. It's going to say, Are you sure? And you're going to say, Sure. And then it's going to say, Great, good job. 
and your order will be placed. And then you can come over to the orders tab, and depending upon if there was a price for which it was um, going for at that moment in time, it'll complete pretty fast and it'll be down here, or it might still say pending. And then once it goes through, you'll be able to come back to your wallets page, and you'll see um, it'll sort your wallets by um, the most amount that they have. So if you had Ant shares and zero Bitcoin, Ant shares would automatically be the first one here as long as you got rid of everything in the search field here. Um, right now, I, I clearly don't have any, but that would come up and say, you know, yeah, you have 100,000 or 10,000 Ant shares. Um, and, that, and that's really it. That is how you purchase and convert between coins on Bittrex. Um, Poloniex works very similarly. Um, just if you want to check it out, just go on their website. It has a very uh, same, same but different kind of feel and look to it. Um, there are advantages and disadvantages to using uh, a lot of these exchanges. Something I'll go over in another video is how to protect your money and keep it safe because essentially if you're investing hundreds of thousands or even thousands, you might want to protect your wallet. You might want to own that pair of keys to your wallet. You don't want to necessarily give it up to some of these exchanges because when you're keeping your money on these exchanges, essentially what you're doing is you're giving the exchange the set of keys to your account. And like I said, no one's there to protect you if this exchange should ever go down and someone should steal money out of your account. So I'll go over that in another video. This is just to get you started. Um, I personally do keep money on an exchange, but I do keep a lot of my money offline in hardware or offline web wallets and um, so so let's not try to overcomplicate things I guess here in this video um, uh, if, if this video you found was helpful for you please like comment share this video with friends that you think it might help please do not be afraid to ask any questions I know this can seem like a lot and I might have went through it quicker than um, someone who is just starting out. I'm pretty comfortable with this. I've been doing this for a while and I just want to help spread the knowledge and help people get started because a lot of my friends have been asking me, how do I get started? How do I invest in cryptocurrency? And again, I apologize if I went through anything too quick or it didn't make sense. Just write down in the comments below and I'll be happy to answer these questions for you. And um, if there's something that a lot of people are asking about, I'll go ahead and I'll make another video on just that if it's really confusing. Um, I just want to be able to help you guys get started in the crypto world. And in later videos, I will share with you how um, to go about making smart trades, the tools and knowledge I use, how to store your money in an offline wallet. So a lot of great information. So just be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and you'll be able to get those notifications and you'll know when I'm online, when I'm when I'm pumping out these new videos, and you'll be able to keep in touch. And um, last thing, I guess, uh, take a look at some of my other YouTube videos. I got a lot of great stuff, um, tutorials, and uh, things that could help you. Cryptocurrency Analyzer Sheet was my first video. It's a great way to keep track of your portfolio, and just a lot of great stuff. So. Anyway, uh, thank you guys all, and I hope you all have an amazing day, and thank you so much for watching.